Ready? Ready? Oh, okay. U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You're up it, Junior. You're up it. It's the 88. Woo -hoo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's Rowdy.com Big Three after an eventful race at Richmond. A lot of things to talk about. I'm not sure we're going to get it all in today. I'm Bassmasters. He's Buck Fever talking, of course, NASCAR racing with our friend and mentor, Jerome <laughs> Muscut. More like Mento. What? I'm the, I'm, I'm the fresh maker? You're, you're the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. <laughs> and you're the question maker, too. And I couldn't help but notice after your Air Guard 400, that the top three in the standings now, now after the race, after the race, mm -hmm. were your top three finishers. Yeah. Kawinka Dink? No, I don't think you should be surprised. It looks like to me it's a it's a it's a boxing match between Jimmy Johnson and Denny Hamlin. Well, I think what you're looking at is the favorites, and, and it kind of reminds you that you know in the last ten weeks or five weeks certainly of the regular season that teams have different agendas. But you come to Richmond, and maybe guys are trying some stuff. But really, I think you want to put your best performance out there just because you're going to New Hampshire in a similar racetrack the next week. So I think if you look at the top three, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson, they're going to go in seated. Denny first, Jimmy second, Kyle's tied for third with Kevin Harvick. I think those top four guys really have to be your top tier favorites this year. So no, it's not a coincidence. And I think you'll see a very similar thing happen when we get to New Hampshire. Those guys should all be factors in that race. Now. We're not, we're not the kind of guys who criticize Dale nah. Earnhardt Jr. Everybody's all American, but I did hear a rumor. No, we would. I did hear a rumor that his performance at Richmond <laughs> was kind of ugly. Okay, let's not sugarcoat this. It was one of the ugliest performances in the Dale Jr. at Hendrick, probably in the Dale Jr. If not the ugliest performance you're ever going to see. Every 50 to 70 laps, we would type type into our Twitter feed. Oh, Junior's going to lap down. Oh, Junior just got passed by the 36. Oh, Junior just got passed by the 09 car. It was terrible. Junior got beat horrible. by Landon Castle, the same Junior guy he got fired. Beat by, <laughs> Junior got beat by Matthias Ekstrom, who was in the Red Bull car his first time on an oval. But, but you it was horrible. But stop. Terrible. But stop. Ugly. But. 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 But, but here goes. Let, yeah. They were well, trying. Well, well, before you go. Before you go. Let's let Junior let's go. Let's let Junior go. Oh. Junior. Go, Junior. The floor is yours. We were uh, trying something new and it uh, just didn't work out, so we'll keep working at it. Um, I don't think it's something we're going to give up on. I think there's some, uh, we had some, we had a rear spring package we never run before, and some front spindles we never run before. We're just trying to find something that'll help us, uh, help us get better. All right, Buck, now you make it. See, they were trying the funky spindle. At least we have a reason. Right. We know that they're trying new stuff because they're not in the chase with championship. They ain't going to win it this year. You might as well go out and try something different for next year. And he said it. We don't want to accept mediocrity. Right. Run uh, 15th. We'll try some stuff, and it didn't work. So if I'm a junior fan, I mean, no, it's not like, oh, they ran poorly, so now everything is going to get better. This is what they have to do, though. This is part of the they process. They need to make. They need so to. I don't think it's necessarily as bad or as ugly as it looked. It was ugly that night, but I think for the future, it's the right thing. They got to be doing they, this. They need to be making wholesale changes. They need to yes. throw the kitchen. Just like out. Richard Childress made totally. to his race team last year, Junior has to do that to his team. You know, another guy who had a pretty ugly evening. Yeah. yeah. In in Richmond was Greg Biffle. Uh, Let, let's first listen to his inventory of everything everything that went wrong with the 16. Let's see what happened tonight. I was pulling off pit road and my helmet filled with smoke and uh, something was on fire so I shut my <laughs> helmet blower off and proceeded to try and get some air inside the car. About halfway through the race they, they said what's the temperature and I said it's 165. And so then we realized that there was a hole up underneath the front of the, the nose of the, of the car that had a some debris at some point knocked a hole in it so the car was really tight we kept it freeing it up freeing it up and I'm telling them it's sliding the nose and I can't give it any gas because we had it so loose and we we fixed that uh, we got the wave around uh, we took the wave around and then when I was coming around to the back of the field the right front tire was flat so I had to pit when we were coming to the green and uh, then we got penalized because you can't uh, you take can't take the wave around and then pit before you take the green on the track so we got penalized for that, and uh, 
Other than that, no, nothing else happened. I, I think the lesson for the Roush Fenway cars, and it's not just Biffle, but I think for this team as a whole, that makes me feel like they're not at the same level as maybe Jimmy, the Gibbs, two Gibbs cars, and the RCR cars, who I think are probably the, the favorites right now. Um, the reason is because these guys are performing on the mile and a half, but if they're not going to perform at Martinsville, and they're not going to perform at New Hampshire, and they're not going to perform at Phoenix, which is kind of the short track or big short track set of, set of tracks we have in this chase, then they're going to have to outrun these other guys by a lot on the mile and a they're half. Not and they're not either. They're they may not be almost as fast, but they're not faster they're... than those other guys in the mile and a half. And I think that makes it a mountain that's too high to climb. So unless they come out of New Hampshire and they find something, I would be concerned for the Roush Fenway I... cars really ending up by the end of 10 races as being a factor in they're this They're not going to be a factor. Now, fact. Carl Edwards started on the pole and, and ran decent. So maybe, maybe maybe we shouldn't the, be too negative about it. They're not going to be know. a factor. I give them a B. They're, it reminds me a little bit of Brian Vickers last year, doing everything, struggling to get into the chase. They did everything. They threw everything at it to get into the chase. They got in the chase. And they found something. And, and, it just didn't work at Richmond. Right. Yep. Yeah. But I, as I Becky it. pointed out yeah. on our uh, Rowdy Facebook page, Carl Edwards is unlike Brian Vickers because Carl Edwards has been in the top 12 pretty much the entire season. That's a fair I agree, point. but I think the dynamic is... The, different, the difference, the point that I think Buck's trying to make is that the other guys have a different agenda. And now when everyone brings their A game out, which they will do on Sunday, it's a, different a lot of a them game. did it on Saturday night, this past Saturday night, now you can see how many points Carl Edwards will score. I'm just not sure the speed is there for those guys to be contenders after 10 races. I, I could be wrong. I don't mean to be negative. I just it's, It seems like a rather likely scenario that those guys are not really going to compete for the chase. Maybe Carl, I think probably not. I think there's four guys that are your top-tier contenders. I think it's Jimmy, uh, Jimmy I think it's Dan. I think it's Kyle, and I think it's uh, Kevin Harvick. I think those are the four guys you really got to look at. That has been your Rowdy.com Big 3 for today. Do join us at Rowdy.com. New Rowdy.com is on its way, and Flying it's going to be in. even better than it is now. We know we got a lot of new people on the website. Thank you for coming over. Hopefully things will be even better. Check out better. our podcast. You can check out our daily podcast and many other good things. Until next time, for Buck and Cutler, I'm Bass, and we will see you later. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Thank <laughs> you.